Lexington Mayor Linda Gordon recently announced she's taking steps to jumpstart the city's recycling program. Our friends from the New Circle Circular decided why not go with her to a recycling plant and see what's up. And here's what they found. Over the last month or so, the city has seen some mounting problems with its recycling program. And apparently we can't just throw it away because it's good for the environment or something. Apparently recycling affects climate change, which at this point I'm willing to try anything to get it to stop raining for a couple days. So let's go inside, talk with the mayor, and see how we can get this recycling thing back on track. Many people remember when we had to separate out paper yeah. from cardboard to, you know, aluminum, whatever, and now it just all gets dumped into one stream. Some of the things that have happened with this system are contamination of the materials. Another is that our equipment, a lot of it is old and needs upgraded and it's, a, it's an expensive process, okay. you know, to maintain. Well, if it's expensive, why don't we just turn in the bottles for a nickel? You know what I mean? Nothing would help our finances better than like a big truckload of nickels, right? Uh-huh. Do you, would you want to do that? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Can I borrow a truck? What are the reasons I should be recycling? I think it is very important for us as citizens to look at how, what we use and how we can reuse things and reduce what we're using so that we're not burying it in the ground. We've had uh, pretty good participation here. We see the beautiful backdrop here. Yes. If we weren't recycling, every one of these would be in the landfill. Right. And you see how large they are and how much space they take up. And we're able to sell some of these recyclables. And then companies make them into other products that can be used. How many cans per month would you say that we're recycling on a regular basis? It's my understanding we're recycling 1.5 million cans per month. Wow. That's a lot. It's a lot of tab. We're not taking the, the basic paper, paper magazines, junk mail. No, I can't burn this paper, right? In the meantime, like I don't no. get a free pass. No, okay, yeah. when you burn things, you're thinking like take it out in the backyard. And yeah. Inside like a geo tracker or something, just. The problem with that is then you're polluting the air. Okay. And putting all of that soot and residue and whatever occurs from the burning into right. the air, and we like to keep our air clean also. Yes, I breathe it all the time. Right. We are still taking aluminum, steel, glass. We are taking corrugated cardboard like you would receive your Amazon box. Isn't the best way to recycle cardboard public breakdancing? <laughs> we could do that right here. All right. <laughs> I read something about having to wash out our cans and bottles. Is that right? Like when you have a, a plastic container and it's had something in it that, say milk, you rinse, milk. rinse it out, drain it, put it in your recycle. Okay. We need to start getting real with ourselves. Start asking questions like, are we doing everything we can as citizens to help the recycling process here in Lexington? Are we recycling enough? If you go outside and you say, my Herbie is fully loaded, then maybe you should be recycling a little bit more and watching Lindsay Lohan movies a little bit less.